The cancer is a pretty scary thing. When they tell you you have cancer, it's very, very scary. How are you? Good. <laughs> good to see you. You have a good yeah. summer? Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Glad to be back. Yes, I was checking on you every single week on Facebook. You were on Facebook? Yeah. Because <laughs> I only took some kids Well, back in December, around Christmas time, I, I started to have a sore throat a little bit. And I thought I had the lump already, because I was coming to work every day with that lump. But I thought I punched a bag at the YMCA every day. I used to punch it three days a week when I was running, just to stay strong. And I thought maybe I pulled a muscle in my neck. He sent me to see the doctor. He put a big tube up my nose and goes down into my throat. It was very uncomfortable. And then he, well, I won't say the way he did it, but he just picked up the phone and he called the emergency. And he said, I think, uh, I think it's cancer. And then he told the lady there, is that Mr. Nolan's chart? Cancer. So I was just like devastated. I said, this guy's got to be wrong. He's got to be wrong. A week later, they took me right away. And they took that needle in my neck to, to take some fluid out and they went down my throat and clipped part of my throat there on my tonsil and uh, within a few days later they called me back and uh, there was five or six doctors there and they said you have a very uh, you have cancer in your tonsils and then your lymph nodes going into your neck and your cancer is stage four which is apparently the worst cancer because it's it's aggressive it's advanced so we said we have to start treatment very very soon so when I left there I was devastated I cried like a baby. I said, what's happening here? I thought was, I'm going to die. Just like you said. Because I said, when they told me that I had stage 4 cancer, I said, oh boy, that's not the beginning. This is like the worst. I said, I'm going to die. I have to accept it. But then I said, wait a minute. They told me that my chances are pretty good if I take the treatment right away. I had to make a decision what type of treatment I wanted. So I made the best decision for my case. All the hard work you guys did, I believe it really helped me a lot. My sickness. Because people used to say to me, how come you didn't lose your hair? I said, because they have new drugs. Because we worked hard. We raised a lot of money. The doctors developed new stuff. I still got my hair. I still look at my neck, how better it is. Remember how it was full of blood and scabs and everything? My throat is slowly getting better. That's all the work that we did here at Roslyn. You guys raising the money. I'm going to do this Terry Fox run until the day I die. My way of de dealing with my cancer right now is I get up every day. I love the blue sky and I love the sunshine. I hate cloudy days. I like raining when I go fishing. That's all. But I mean, well, I, I see the sun and the blue sky and I got my dog and I go for a walk. I said, wow, I'm grateful to be alive. I'm really happy just to be alive.